Save on fun, food, flights, etc. Travel for less. Link in the description. What's up everyone? This is Blue with SGDT and thank you so much for joining me for this um, game review here. Today we're going to be playing Steel Empire and Over Horizon. Without further ado, let's jump right in. By the way, this is a watch and nab, so definitely stay tuned for a code to be dropping, which will also give you access, at least the lucky person that gets their hands on it, uh, access to these games. So we're gonna start with Over Horizon. I used to love uh, 2D shooters on uh, back in the day. Oh crap. So there is uh, rumble feedback when you um, take an L. Okay, so you don't even have to worry about um, pressing the um, button over and over. You can hold it for uh, continuous firing. This is definitely a challenge. I said with a specific, like a uh, more like a gaming controller, like the um, Nintendo um, Switch Pro controller, you'd be able to navigate a bit better. Nothing wrong with this. It's just a uh, I prefer a looser analog um, stick as far as um, controlling this. So I'm going to give this one one more go and then let's switch over. This particular weapon definitely uh, comes in handy for um, those ships that are just out of reach and you can't shoot them on directly. I wonder if this powers up. Ah. Okay. Let me see if this uh, upgrades. Okay, so it does. So whenever you get uh, two of the same type, it will definitely upgrade for you. That was the L, L edition of the uh, gameplay. Let me 
appears to be in edit mode here. Cool for our weapon edits. Option edit. Okay. That's pretty cool. So you can um edit and place the um secondary weapons where you want them to be. Or at least your um assistant guns. That's all pretty cool. So you can um upgrade your own strategy or edit your strategy. Okay, so you get um, different um, points, you can switch on um, between, you get a good balance in there. Nothing wrong with that. And over here is where you test them. That's definitely um, a pretty cool um, option there. Because normally you just get uh, thrown to the wolves. So now that we've tried um, Over Horizon, let's jump over and uh, try one of the alternate games. So the next game we're going to be jumping into is Steel Empire, or The Steel Empire. You guys probably remember um, 1942. That was definitely a classic. I like this um, game. Like, uh, no offense to the other game, but I like the feel of this one a bit more. Uh, by the way, I'm, um, I'm joined by a fellow uh, gamer. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, ask him a quick question uh, during this. Uh, do, do you uh, remember your favorite um, like side-scrolling uh, bullet hell game? Uh, I think that's called Raiden. I think Raiden might have been the one. I don't know, Raiden was like the up and down, I think. I think it was not, in 1942, it was like up and down. I remember Gyrus. Gyrus was my friend too. It was totally unique. Hmm. You had like the plants in the middle and you had the guy going all the way around, like all around the whole planet and then you had the spaceship going right towards him. It was pretty neat. Gyrus was awesome. Uh, Side-pulling... Metal Slug. You can go wrong with that. Definitely. Metal Slug. All of those slugs were good. It's totally. And, uh, uh, I think they're releasing a new Metal Slug as well. I don't, I'm not sure, but... Yep. I know there's both really like the whole you know, remasters of the old ones, but I, I know this will be doing a, a real release of a new one, which would be awesome. Yeah. I remember the guy that was my, my game back in the day, though. <laughs> Spent a lot of quarters on that thing. It was uh, an um, arcade. Yeah, an arcade game. I have it on a. What's pretty uh, cool about this game is like uh, when you're fighting the um, boss, as you saw, I couldn't just shoot the entire uh, ship and it just um, get attacked. You have to shoot it in different uh, areas in order to actually take it down. 
So what do, what do you think about this uh, game so far? I like that one better than the second one. The first one is good. It's more fast paced. I like fast paced man. Definitely. That one was really slow. That one. A little stiff. It's mm -hmm. like, right. This guy can go up and down real fast. He can move, dodge. He, actually, I think he can turn the opposite way too. Uh, mm -hmm. Not exactly, but uh, you yeah, can like definitely move a lot quicker. <laughs> more than that now. Oh yeah, it's really bad. It's way more than 15 bits. Fast, too. Look at that guy. He came in and out real quick. And it's not just a one hit and you explode. Yeah, you took damage. And so that was um, the Steel Empire. And so now we're gonna jump over to Steel Empire, and this is the um, Game Boy Advance version. It doesn't sound like it. Now one thing that, let's see, okay. So I was able to press on start to skip it. Yeah, even the um, uh, Game Boy Advance version um, is good. Yeah, it was interesting. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely not sure what happened there. You lost control there? Let's see. Here we go. And so, um, and with that um, in mind, I probably um, recommend definitely um, be aware of you know your own controls and how they um, slide while playing this game because you will end up losing control. But as you see, I snap them back in and they're good to go. It looks like in the uh, Game Boy Advance version, the, um, the bombs are a bit more defined compared to the um, other version. I definitely have a, I have a, a 2D side-scrolling uh, game that I would love to have um, developed, like, in, in due time. And so that's the uh, Steel Empire for Game Boy Advance.
Now let's jump over to um, the Steel Empire MD, um, the Japanese version. As you see, like the um, the bombs in the um, in this version are a little less defined compared to the Game Boy Advance version, but this is a um, like um, on a larger scale. The Game Boy Advance version is a, a bit more uh, zoomed in, which is understandable for the um, screen size. But there's a, that's cool that, you know, you can um, switch between versions, like um, based on whichever you um, like more. It's not like you're just um, stuck. Yeah, oh, crap. going on here. Ah. We made it through. I'm not sure how long those um those uh, little um bonuses and so forth last. So I try to um, go in and grab them, but it's not always a good idea. You see, um, I can't just go in underneath and start um, firing off. I have to go to, spe to a specific um, part and actually attack it. By the way, um, I'm not going to officially say when the um, Watch and Nav um, uh, code for this um, episode is going to drop. But um, keep your eyes peeled. If it hasn't dropped already, definitely stay tuned. So uh, that was my own daughter Clementine, and she will also be um, enjoying the Steel Empire gameplay while on vacation here. I'll give this a whirl because I've only been playing with the other ship. Okay, so it only took on one um, power up in order to deploy two ships, which is um, nice. Oh, 
Ouch. I'm going a little too low with that. Destroy this part so it'll stop firing off. Cool, got it. What? Okay, so you also have um, the ability to set up a bomb. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you have the ability to rewind. So if you press um, the uh, left uh, button, as you see. You can back up. That's pretty cool. So if you made a mistake and you want to um, get out of that L, just um, hit L. That will definitely um, change things as far as you make a mistake and you want to write that wrong. I like that. Now, uh, some people might um, feel a certain way about it, especially if they want the uh, challenge, but on that note, just don't hit the, um, the left um, button. AKA L1. Oh. I'm not sure if they they give you a max number of um, rewinds. I think that would up the um, challenge, especially for those um, who try to rely heavily on it. But uh, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave it alone. I hear something coming. Oh snap! Take on the train. Yeah. You're definitely um, safer down here. But you gotta be careful.
bull crap. So as you see, if you are taking too much damage up top, you definitely utilize the strategy of uh, laying low, but you gotta watch out for these uh, cars, because if you run into them, you definitely will take damage. I said I wasn't gonna use the L anymore. Now it's just me and you. This game definitely has um, a solid fun factor. Um, I'd have to, I would certainly give um, Over Horizon um, another chance and um, and play that uh, game more. But out of the two, um, Steel Empire is uh, definitely my fave. But um, either way, you know, both games uh, come inside the you know come inside this um, pack so definitely um, grab your um, bundle today if you haven't um, got your hands on the um, code um, definitely get it from the Nintendo eShop it's available now and on that note this has been Blue with SDT until next time game on